this is a little bit of an island, it wasn't actually possible to access it for quite a long time. The council decided to put the bridge and this was designated as a developed as an ecology island. So we wanted to have some strong theme that communities can come together and do something together in this space. So the ecology island, we developed it to ecology of colour. This area will eventually become a garden that they grow plants to real natural dyes. These are natural dye based timber, timber stains. We painted all these individual panels. This was all hand painted by a community. We wanted to show the idea of colour, how colour can be expressed in architecture. And the funny thing is, in, in this country, probably everywhere in the world, the buildings used to be a lot more colourful. And we wanted to have that in this building. This pattern is actually called joy. It's, it doesn't have a logic behind it in a such a sense. Uh, it's just drawn on the grid, just at the time that how they felt it should be. It's completely wrapped with the same pattern. It's a repeated pattern, but it's complex enough to not really notice the rep repetition. It's very simple structure. Actually, it looks quite simple. It's not that straightforward. We didn't want it to become just a bungalow. And also it had to provide the function on the ground floor to shelter people. And also, if you go upstairs, you will notice it have a quite nice airy feel to it. It's, it was an incredibly low budget project, how we managed to achieve this. It's incredibly low tech. The structure is put together very simply, so the construction itself is manageable. But we have some quirks, as you can see, all these shutters, how it works. The technicalities are quite hidden. The how the hinges works and parts, it's just that we had to use a lot of proprietary products to make everything work seamlessly. So as you can see, incredibly simple mechanism of opening it, just pinch and hook. Is there something attractive about simplicity? It depending on what you mean by simplicity. Um, I hope it doesn't mean minimalism. Simplicity is very important when you are designing and making something because the buildability and the budget and how it functions. And if things get complicated, people just don't know how to operate things. But that doesn't mean you have to pair everything back. So nothing is exposed. We could have done this side with a clip-in mechanism, like how your kitchen cabinet would work. But we wanted to show these kind of elements that you can touch and it's exposed. It's not trying to be minimal, it's just trying to be simple. So, we have three different set of openings. This is almost like balcony that you can open up to get a, a, a cross breeze and, and get, the, get a north light in. So this will be the main opening for the most of um, uh, workshops and so forth. And that can be completely opened out um, to have you know, this almost like outdoor room. And these are little peepholes, really. There are a lot of birds reside just behind here. So when everything is closed, and you can just open up just one of these, this can act as a table at the same time. And you can draw the birds and, and what you see from here. All the structural frame is done um, with the British larch, and the, all the cladding is done with the British cedar. And this is all British timber. None of this timber were imported in. And we're now lucky that the British larch is mature enough that we can use structurally. The flooring we have used is quite naturally durable. It has quite a lot of the residue within itself and this because this this is exposed to the element it's a shelter what we have found is that we can 
trying to maintain this, maintain the hell out of it. But if you started treating it, you have to constantly have to treat it. So by just leaving it natural, we just taking the fact that sometime it'll be muddy and then you'll sweep it up and the stain will become a part of his life. In the long term period of time, I'm hoping this will become lots of stains and lots of uh, marks and people make and that just becomes part of it. I don't think we need to hush away from it. If we understand the machined element as a perfect and unmarked element, in perfection, something shows human touch. We want to do architecture that shows that human touch. It certainly is not wild. <laughs> um, this is not grown from a seed. So um, we're not trying to um, um, the fake this, you know, just have popped up. But it's, it's having the respect to the, the other, other surroundings. How I understand the landscape of this country, every inch of this country and the landscape is cultivated one way or another for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. I guess from as someone who's from South Korea and became a British, now I'm starting to understand what they mean by natural, what they mean by ecology. Where I would have understood it previously is something that has been totally untouched for over a period of time and it's completely wild. Here is uh, something that, that gives you comfort and give you feel of being out and be with nature. So it's more of um, you can understand it as a place for the contemplation and you enjoy the natural elements of it rather than it in itself it have to be just the wild. That's my understanding.